Now, we ride. So, I passed through Phoenix, Arizona this morning. Packed up and I'm headed out. There are just six riding days remaining in the Southwestern Safari Adventure. Today, on day 10, we'll be riding from Mesa, Arizona, through Phoenix, up and over to Prescott, to the mountain town of Jerome, and then to Sedona, wrapping up our day in Flagstaff. Flagstaff will be my base camp for tomorrow's trip to the Grand Canyon, and the great hope of finally getting decent Grand Canyon pictures. Given the way the weather looks and stuff, I think my wish shall be granted. Last night before I checked into my hotel, I stopped by the cycle gear in town, picked up some chain cleaner and degreaser and a small can of chain wax. They didn't have any really relatively small can. No one wants to carry a gigantic can on their road trip. Apparently nobody does road trips, I guess. There's an HOP. Can I use that here? I mean, at this hour, I don't really need to. Not really headed to LA, but I am gonna be on 10 for a little bit. Garmina says this lane is acceptable. I'll go to Flagstaff. We are going to Flagstaff, but not that way. We're going the fun way. We're taking the squickies. I do not trust the person in my blind spot going faster than everything in lane number three. They're building some kind of roller coaster there. Goes around this probably hotel or casino. I don't know what it is, the Vi Resort VA Resort. And it's next to the State Farm Stadium. Just like a good neighbor. That stadium is there. Right there. Dang, this off-ramp is a half mile long. Traffic's a little backed up. Hopefully we don't gridlock here. Well, it looks like we're about to roll over to 60,000 miles. I knew that was gonna happen today. I didn't really have a whole lot of flexibility to alter my route. Normally for a major milestone, I plan the ride so at that moment, you're at a pretty cool spot and unfortunately I don't think that's exactly gonna happen today because it does not look much different than this for a lot more than one mile but it happened on an epic two-week southwestern safari ride can't do much better than that right and as a birthday present sort of mileage present for Bima Jr it ain't gonna be long before we get some taste Twisties, Grim Chua. Mm -hmm. And there you go. 60K. I think I'll pull over and get an iPhone photo. Jeep change lanes for me. People almost never will pull it. We are in Wickenburg, Arizona. Just about to turn on to 93 North. Got some kind of dirt speck in my eye. Hate it when that happens. Uh, I just turned off onto Arizona 89 on my way to Prescott. We're gonna stop before we get to Prescott though, probably around Yarnell. Man, pavement quality is garbage here. Uh, I'm gonna rattle out my fillings. There's some nice roadside flowers here. Waving us on. Go, Kurt, go! Little yellow flowers speckled in with the purple. Fuchsia ones too. A little floral palette. Got some little orange ones in joining the party there. We want to come. We want to come. I'll be haze. All right. 
You can come sit by the side of the road and watch those cool bikers. But if you step out of line just once, back to the planting pot with you. Okay? You hear me? All right. Take this opportunity to stand for a minute. Kick the heated grips up to high. A little while back, fingers are on fire. <laughs> so I dropped it to low. It has a whopping two settings. Why is this feeling so squirrely? Maybe these tires just really suck when they start to get older. I mean, these tires are only two years old, but plenty of tread left, but these things last forever. Got almost 12,000 miles on them. I don't think we'll be limping home on bald tires or anything, but this whole trip, not the whole trip, but a good part of this trip, I've not been happy with their road feel. Not pavement or dirt. I think it's mostly the front. The wind in my face is really cold. What are we at here? 51. Yeah, we dropped 15 degrees coming up here. We have 40 miles of fuel left. The next one they're telling me is 42. So this Chevron better be freaking open. <laughs> Nineteen sixty El Camino there. A local Yarnell native named Ron owns it. Stopped and chatted with him for a few minutes. Thing sounds great. I didn't ask him what he had under the hood, but it sounded like a three fifty. Not that I'm an expert or anything, but I, I did own a vehicle with a Chevy three fifty in it. Sounded pretty similar. Although quite honestly. 327 probably found about the same. 283. Said he just finished it up and got it working. He's trying to find all the leaks and stuff. <laughs> On to Prescott. Rod says he rides. He used to have a 1200 BMW, maybe a K12 or something. Said he got the K16. Nice little ranch there. Let me pick up a late lunch at Prescott. What the heck, is it raining out there? I'm not wearing my rain pants, okay? But it's supposed to be any rain today. Looks like it could probably just be a little spritzel. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. It's not gonna be a sudden massive downpour out of nowhere, at least. The more I ride these tires, the less I trust them. This road surface looks questionable. There's some kind of film or something over it. That is also eroding my confidence. Spots in the middle of the road. It's probably oil drip. I don't want to be riding on that. I don't think I can avoid it. It doesn't look like there's too much of it, but you see it on the other side too. Kind of unusual. Usually you just see a dark spot in the center, right? 
we see spots on both sides. We have a slight amount of precipitation. This road surface is garbage. Those are snowflakes. I think they are. Those are snow flurries. Very little bit. 46 degrees. I'm getting snowed on. It melts as soon as it touches anything. Mile 305.5. I've never seen a 0.5 mile mark. I wonder if they put it in the wrong spot, realized it, and then just added the 0.5 later. Because it's a different piece. Welcome to Prescott. What is it, three miles to Prescott? One of, another one of those deals. Oh yeah, the town of Prescott covers hundreds of square miles. <laughs> sure does. See, I don't see that film over the road anymore. Thought we already entered Prescott. <laughs> this is the real Prescott. The other one's a fake imposter. Everything was closed here. South Dakota, driving a Tucson. Donut shop, it's great lunch, right? Looks like a good place for an ambush. Exiting the rocky canyons on the outside of Prescott, I headed to the highways that would lead me into the mountains toward Jerome. Well, we're headed up the road to Jerome. I have been in this before. A long time ago. Hard to believe in the next 70 miles, I'm going to go through two really cool towns. Jerome and Sedona. I think Sedona has been kind of gentrified. I think that happened before I was there last time, but it's a pretty cool place. And Jerome is much smaller. That's very unique. We'll talk more about that when we get there. For now, we ride. I'm seeing that yuckiness on the road again. Although not quite this, and the spots in the middle, and <laughs> like around Prescott. Only in that one spot. This is fine, this doesn't have that sheen. This. That tower is a target fixation issue. Jeez, I'm, I want to put my glove liners in. Although we are going downhill, so it should be getting warmer. I did see a tick up one degree. And then back down. <laughs> oh, they keep him frozen. It's not that bad. <laughs> not even. See, there's the air. Big belly. Two miles to Jerome. Yeah. The jag it is out. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Oh, oh so sweet. <laughs> scenic view. Okay. We'll take scenic views for $400, Alex.
gorgeous rock here. <laughs> like this view. side of a rocky mountain. Haunted hamburger. No fire department there. Actually there's a little parking here. It's like an old jail or something. And now we slowly begin our descent down into the valley. Heading out of Jerome, I set my sights on Sedona, a little less than 30 miles away. Five miles to Sedona, but we passed the city limit. <laughs> I just can't get over that. I keep seeing it in just all, every, practically every town. The city limit sign is long before you see any sign that said was it. Beating a death horse. But... <laughs> Donut. Splash and dash car wash. Major traffic jam here. Oh, they got a whole paycheck here. The gentrification is complete. This is where everybody panics because they don't know what to do in a roundabout. This is totally the wrong area of town to go to. This next section here is pretty nice. Wine Sur Canyon. Pull out for that view? Lame. here at Slide Rock. The camera batteries died, so I don't have footage of the last 15 miles to Flagstaff. After checking into my hotel, I stopped at a local roaster to enjoy a nice cup of coffee. They roast it right there. I hope you've enjoyed this ride and consider subscribing to the channel so that you can be informed of the latest releases. In episode 11 of the Southwestern Safari, we ride the Grand Canyon, get our kicks on Route 66, and enjoy the atmosphere of Seligman, Arizona. Next time on Ride On.